I want to welcome all the uh, South Atlantic Division teammates and uh, just let you know, General Seminite, we're on the road again with our series to kind of let you know what's going on around the division sector. Today we're like, real excited to be able to be uh, at Lake Thurman and I'm standing here with our, our, uh, our senior leader of Lake Thurman, Scott Hyatt. I want to be able to have uh, Scott say a couple uh, uh, things to, about his team and about the mission that, uh, that we do at Lake Thurman. Now, Scott, um, I know that Thurman's one of the, the most important uh, facilities we have for size-wise, but can you just let the, the rest of the team know a little bit about Lake Thurman and uh, what you have here at this facility? Okay, sure, sure, be glad to. Uh, Thurman Lake is located about 15 miles uh, upstream from Augusta on the Savannah River. We're the last core project on the river before, uh, uh, before the river goes unconfined down to Savannah Harbor. We're uh, actually physically the largest project east of the Mississippi River. Got about 150,000 acres. Uh, uh, split between almost an even split between land and water gives us a, a, a tremendous land and water base. Keeps us real, real busy um, managing it with a team of uh, about 50 people. Well, Scott, you know you have an awful hard job because at these reservoirs we have to balance on our authorized purposes. We have water supply, water quality, we have navigation, we have hydro, we have recreation, and we have, you know, fish and wildlife and habitat, some combination of those at all reservoirs. You talked about the park rangers. I think they're one of our crown jewels of the Corps of Engineers because they're our interface with the public. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your park rangers and maybe, you know, what do they do to really make uh, Lake Thurman special? Yeah, park rangers are the backbone of our, uh, our recreation program and they really get out there and promote our water safety program. You know, one of the things that is critical to us with, with recreation is that our guys uh, that come to visit the project get to go home safely at night. And these guys are out here tirelessly on the weekends uh, patrolling, seeing how they can help people out, looking for uh, uh, safe situations that they, can, uh, that they can address. They'll get out and do interpretive programs with kids. And, you really can't say enough about these guys. Scott, you and I have been together six or seven hours today. I've been very, very impressed with what I see in, in Lake Thurman and the quality of your facilities out here. I know that the stimulus, the ARA dollars, had a chance to be able to help maybe get some of that backlog. And while we really wanted to put people back to work and to boost the economy, it really did allow us to get some more things done. Can you tell us about some of the stimulus work that maybe you've done and, and just kind of sum up for us? Sure, sure. Yeah, we got about $9 million worth of uh, stimulus dollars at this project. We, we did $3 million worth of recreation improvements. Um, those included um, upgrading our infrastructure, our electrical systems, some bathrooms and things. Probably uh, uh, one of the ones that uh, seems to be having the greatest effect in the area is we uh, uh, upgraded some water lines. We ran county water into some of these parks. Okay. Um, helped our guys get rid of some wells, also created some second and third order effects where residents, businesses, and things were able to tap into these lines that couldn't do it. Uh, one of our other big projects that we've uh, uh, got going on is a mitigation feature for um, Russell that's going to pump oxygen into the uh, into the lake in the summer months to help raise the oxygen level. That's going to increase the, uh, the fishery. They're running about seven miles worth of all diffuser lines in yeah. the lake. And actually, if you, uh, if you look off in the background here behind us, the boats are out today. They're sinking the second line. These right over here. These right over yeah. there. Uh, you can be a little faint there, but uh, see a big yellow line that they're coming out there. They're going to eventually fill it up with water, and that's going to sit on the uh, bottom of the lake, pump the oxygen in there. Well, listen, I think you're doing a great job, you and your team out here. And I, I know most people that come to Thurman probably do think of it as a, as a recreation area, but really there's so many more things the Corps provides and you and your team provide for obviously flood control and the, and the health and welfare of this nation, and we want to thank you. And I would guess I just answered to say that all of the, all the teammates back in the Savannah District and back in Atlanta, um, just remember that there's guys like Scott out here and his whole team who are counting on us to be able to provide the resources that he needs, the policy, and to be able to give him the top cover to get this job done. It's hard when he's the face of the Corps that has to answer these hard questions, but it's, we're, we're all behind you. You got 3,600 people in this division and all the guys in Corps headquarters to be able to make sure that you can do your job and continue to build strong for our nation. So congratulations on a job well done. Thanks, sir.